Okay, so next what we need to do is add the eyelids. Now, I've gone ahead and turn, turned off my line layer where you can see the spheres and made a new layer and set it to multiply. We're gonna start adding the eyelids. Now, something we need to think about when we're doing these is what angle are we looking at the eye from and what angle is the eye looking at, right? So we'll start out with this first one. And you wanna keep in mind that the eyelid does not go all the way to the edge of the eye. Okay, it doesn't look like this. It actually only goes to about right here on any given eye. And very rarely do we see the entire pupil. If we saw that, the person would look permanently in shock all the time. Most of the time, uh, a good portion of the eye is covered up. So in reality, it often looks something like this. Okay, and that's all we're going to be doing for this is getting kind of the basic shape and idea of where the iris fits into the shape of the eyelid. Okay, so go through each one of these and do the same thing. Let's try this one right here. Um, so let's imagine that once again the eye is looking pretty close to forward but that the eye is looking really high up into the skull okay so we bring these in here Get the tear duct in there okay And then if I go back to my layer where the iris is and erase it out, we can see what it looks like to have the eye looking up into the head. And we can go ahead and erase this one as well. All right, let's move on to the next one. Let's imagine that this one is looking down and that we're still looking at it relatively straight on. Okay, go ahead and erase out the iris. Perfect. Let's move on. Let's do this one on the top right. Now let's imagine that this one is looking up and we're looking at it from kind of a lower angle, from almost below. So we'll have the corner of the eye start right here have the eyelid come up, wrap around. And the bottom eyelid wrap around on the bottom like that. Perfect, and then we can go ahead and erase out that iris. Excellent, and we only have two more. So this one, uh, let's imagine that this one is looking very far to the right, our right. Okay, and then we can erase out the iris on this one. Excellent, and then we have one more, and this one we're going to do as though it's uh, looking straight down and we're looking at it almost from above. So.
realistically, you probably wouldn't even be able to see a lot of this because the eyebrow would be in the way. But we're just going to imagine for this sake that it's just a floating eye with no head, just wrapped around, eyelid wrapped around the ball like that. Okay. Excellent. So, those look pretty good. Your job now is to do the same thing with the eyes that you drew. Go through and add the eyelids to all of your paintings. Now, this is just a quick sketch, but when you're painting, what we're going to add, so I mean, maybe we should add it in now, is that there is um, the eyelid is 3D, which means there's a little bit of a ledge on the eye, like that, right? And it would be the same with all of these, so we'll go through and add those really quick so you can see what I'm talking about. That it is a 3D shape, it's not just a flat piece of paper, right? It has depth to it. So if we add that to all of these eyeballs, you can see just that little bit of a ledge. All right, we'll do this one as well. Okay, so keep that in mind. Those look good for this. And in the next uh, lecture, we'll start going over how to paint the eye and laying in our flat colors, um, setting up what we would actually be doing when we're getting ready for a painting after we've already drawn the eye. So I'll see you guys in the next lecture.